So guys, if you've been on the internet for the past few days, you've probably heard of a game called Untitled Goose Game. It's basically meme status right now. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's playing it. And in short, you literally just play a goose, you're a jerk to people, you move stuff around, you steal stuff, you just cause chaos as a goose. And geese are jerks, so it's the perfect way to just escape reality and play as a goose. Now, um, this is only for Nintendo Switch, Mac OS, and PC. So those with PS4s, Xbox, and iPhones, and Android are probably left feeling a little neglected. But, big, big but, I found a game for the iPhone. It's a bootleg version. And when I say it's bootleg, it is really bootleg. <laughs> Let me just show you guys. So if we check out Twitter, this has obviously been an issue. So there was a game called Unnamed Goose Game, and now that wasn't good. Someone came out with Unnamed Goose Games, thinking they would get away with it. The screenshot clearly shows a duck. <sighs> if we go to the App Store, we see it's the same game, but now it's called Unnamed Goose Simulator. But the thing is, if you search for Untitled Goose Game, it still comes up. The issue is, like, clearly the screenshots looks nothing like the game. You're a duck, which isn't even a goose. And if you read through the description, it says, Are you a fan of unnamed goose games? Are you a fan of unnamed goose games? <laughs> Untitled Goose Game is a game in which you play as a mischievous goose who walks through a small village ruining everyone's day. They literally put the name of the game they're copying in the, in the description so people can find it. And then when you look through the reviews, like it's clear it's a piece of crap. Horrible in every way. Rip off of Entitled Goose Game. <laughs> you don't do anything but walk around. Just pointless. I deleted after five minutes. This is just so bad. They just did a copy of Untitled Goose Game, but way worse. I gave it one star. Unnamed Goose Game. It's just... Like, clearly there wasn't a model of a goose, so they just put a duck and hoping people wouldn't notice. And I've already beat one level, so I'm an expert at this. Let me just show you how it works. And it's basically like an ad game. Everything you do, there's an ad. Like, I almost feel bad supporting this developer. They probably made a few, at least like 20 cents from this. I don't know how that works. Mission one, your task is to inspect the area and not get eaten by people. Run on two points. That makes zero sense, but I'm an expert, so I can tell you what to do. So first of all, you're a freaking duck. <coughs> you walk around, and all you have to do is go to these little blips on the map. That's literally the only objective. And you have to watch out for the people because they'll try to eat you. And that was the level. You passed the level. Let's just do one more, just to show you like, this is literally all you do. And we have to watch another 30 second ad. Run to the warehouse. It is possible that you will find real food for the goose. There, okay. So we're going to go to the red thing on the map. We're going to watch out for the people because they eat us. There's so many people. You passed the level. There ain't no food there. Run around people's favorite places and make them lose their temper and start running after you. The English kills me. What the heck? View ads and continue the game. Even if you don't click that, it still plays an ad. You got the gist of it. This unnamed goose game or unnamed goose games or unnamed goose simulator or whatever they're going to call it right now <coughs> is not worth your time. Just buy it for the Switch. If you don't have a Switch, buy it for the computer. <sighs> Do not download this game. Do not support this developer at all.
even if it's free, I wouldn't even download it. You're just encouraging people to play this. 